Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So today we will be taking a look at a mass market oracle deck called the Pleasure Oracle. So it says here that um, this oracle deck uh, is a deck made for exploring your longings, desires, and drives body and soul so it has 52 cards um there is no guidebook in this deck because all of the meanings are at the backs of the cards so it is published by hardy grant books and i got this from amazon so it is readily available so the cards are in this box which you pull out like a drawer uh it's not it's not a favorite you can see that one of the cards caught earlier but I guess it does its job. It's quite sturdy. So it's just a plain, uh, there's no print on the inside of the box. It's nice, nice little pink color at the backs. And you already have the cards. So again, there is no guidebook. You do have these three extra cards about the author, how to use the pleasure oracle, and a welcome, welcome message from uh, the creator. And then these are the cards. So they do feel a little bit like a standard tarot size. <laughs> Let me compare it with my Nicoletta, which I, I usually say is a standard tarot, but again, it's actually narrower. So I do think that the Pleasure Oracle is actually a lot more <laughs> standard tarot size. Um, so the way this deck is laid out is you have this, these images at the back, and then you have the messages at the other side of the cards. Okay. So I'll be flipping through more on the art, and then later on when we um, when we do the sample reading, I'll shuffle it and pick a card, and then we'll just read the other side, or I'll just show you the other side. All right. So let me. Uh, so I zoomed in, so we can take a closer look at the art. So the colors are quite a little bit. Um, it's not really a pastel, but but light colors. And then you have these silhouettes or images, at the, um, which are, and you have these silhouettes at the backs of the cards and uh, of women in different poses, implying, um, implying that they are naked. It's, it has some body diversity in it, which I do appreciate. So I'll go through this quickly. Um, there are some su suggestive poses. It's a little bit sexy. It's a little bit daring, but nothing too graphic. Nothing graphic. <laughs> it's an interesting concept for a deck. Uh, I got it because one of the things that I wanted to do in 2023 is to connect more with my feminine side or my uh, to work with or connect with feminine energy and feminine power so I bought a lot of decks that are quite feminine centric uh, mostly you know <laughs> themed with strong female empowerment and all of these things and I think it is quite a good idea to have a deck that would let you also explore what your desires are, what your, what brings you pleasure. And I don't think it's all about um, sex or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's something that would bring you basically pleasure. And if it's, and it's worth looking into that or exploring. So I do, I am very, um, I am quite attracted to the figures or to the art at the back of the deck. I do wish though that the colors, I don't know if it, I would have actually preferred this on a glossy cardstock. Um, because it, it kind of lacks um, some oomph <laughs> for me. But I do like it.
Okay. And then we will zoom out and shuffle the stack and see the messages. All right. So I don't have any issues shuffling this deck. So it it sh it it ripples just fine. It bridges just fine. And we'll do it one more time. And then we'll do an overhand and see if a card wants to be read, which that card does want to be read. So no issues. It doesn't stick. It doesn't clump. Uh, you can also do overhand just fine. Okay, and uh, before we read the message on this card, this is the card that wants to be read, I just want to show you what it looks like at the back. So, I don't know, is it just me? But I do find that I wish it's a little bit more centered. I don't really get why there's that star at the side. And it just makes, you know, it makes the text seem out of, I don't know, uncentered or something. So I'll just give you a quick, uh, flip through of all of these keywords if you, if you can read them fast um, but yeah and then we'll focus on the card that jumped out so that we see how the messages read okay so the keyword is love revolution so it says here shame guilt and victimhood create powerlessness but when we're in a dark place, courting anything else feels like a denial of our pain. It's true that we need to find it's true that we need to feel our despair in order to heal from it, but embracing wonder and joy is not a denial. It's our way through it. So the action. So it ha it does have that uh, message and then an action. So something that you can do. So uh, something that you can do to address uh, the message. So love is a strength. Love is resilience. Love doesn't. Love doesn't shout. It whispers, and yet it's a. F its force is so powerful that only it can wake you from a life that feels like a bad dream. Integrate your anger. Accept your hurt, but don't identify with it. For only love can set us free. See if you can counter the fearful thoughts you notice having. The fearful thoughts you notice having with a ridiculously loving thought. So that's that's actually how each of the cards uh, go. So you can pause if uh, if you want to read. And to be honest, I like the art. I like the I like the concept. There are some cards here that resonate with me, but. Overall, I'm not sure if this is a deck that I'm going to be keeping. So yeah, it also here it also has here like um, it's like a self care, <laughs> self care um, kind of deck as well. But I do think that there are other decks that do that better. I'm sorry, but but these are just my opinions, and it this is coming from the fact that I don't really keep a lot of oracle decks, and I only read for myself mostly. So it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't really resonate with me, it probably isn't a deck that would um, would be would stay in my collection and that's not a bad thing because i know that there are other people who would love this deck and who would really resonate with it so yeah so that has been the so that has been the pleasure oracle if you are interested i got this from amazon so it is accessible um don't, if you like the video, please don't forget to click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos like this at least once a week. See you again next time. Bye!